Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here is follows when we have a square minus b square, which can be written as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. This also what we have becomes x plus y into bracket, then into bracket x minus y. It is equals to 65 on this side and we have separated this into two factors let's separate 65 as well to six factor we can to two factors we can write 65 as 65 times one or one times 65 or we can write it as 13 times five or five times 13 and x and y here is a member of positive integer. That is, it implies that the first bracket to be greater than the second, we have x plus y is greater than x minus y. Also, it means that the first factor should be greater than the second. That is, this is far greater than one, this will satisfy. Also, this will not satisfy. This will also satisfy. Why this will not satisfy? Then it implies we have two cases here. Let's consider case one, which is 65 times one. Then it implies this equation here can be written as x plus y into brackets, open bracket x minus y now equals to 65 times one then from here the first bracket here now 65 it implies we have x plus y equals to 65 the second bracket one we have x minus y equals to one and when we solve these two equations simultaneously we can add here to eliminate y this here this becomes x plus x 2x then equals to 65 plus one that's 66 then we divide both sides by 2 here. Divide this side by 2, also divide this side by 2. 2 cancel each other here. This becomes x equals to 66 over 2, that's 33. We have x 33 here. Then to get y, substitute x in equation 2 here. That is from x minus y equals to 1. It implies 33 minus y equals to 1. And when we call it like that, 1 comes here, minus y equals there. We have 33 minus 1 equals to y. That's 32 equals to y, which is also y equals to 32. And we have the first set of solution, which you can write as x1 comma y1. It's now the same thing as 33 comma 32. So we have this as all sets of solution now. By the time we consider the second case here, from what we have here, the second case, which is 18 times 5, and this equation here cannot be written as x plus y into brackets also into brackets x minus y cannot be written as 13 times 5 which implies the first bracket here is 13 we have x plus y equals to 13 the second bracket is 5 that is x minus 5 x minus y equals to 5 then also solving these two equations simultaneously, we can add this to eliminate y. x plus x that's 2x equals to 13 plus 5 that's 18. Also divide both side by 2, divide here by 2, divide this side by 2. 2 cancel each other here. We have x now equals to 18 over 2, which is 9. So we have x equals to 9 here. To get y, can use also equation 2. That is x minus y equals to and x here we have 9 minus y equals to 5 
this also taking minus y there 5 here you have 9 minus 5 now equals to y which is 4 equals to y that is we have y here equals to 4 that is when we write the second set of solution x2 comma y2 that same thing as 9 comma 4 so we have the second set of solution here then can check if this set of solution here satisfies this given problem. For the first set of solution x1, y1, when we substitute here, it implies what we have becomes 33 squared minus 32 squared. This is equal to 65 on this side. Then from what we have here, 33 squared means 33 times 33 that is here 3 times 3 9 3 times 3 9 also 3 times 3 9 3 times 3 9 here when we had this becomes 9 this is 18 carry one this is 10 now that's 1089 that is here we have 1089 minus also 32 squared that's 32 times 32 Times 32 and here 2 times 2 4 2 times 3 6 3 times 2 6 3 times 3 9 when we add as well this gives us 4 this is 12 and this thing that's 1024 now is equals to 65 on this side and when we subtract here 1089 minus 1024 this is 9 minus 4 5 8 minus 2, 6, so this is turned to 0, so this is 65. So we have 65 here, which is equals to 65 here. That is, left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then, this set of solution here satisfy the given equation. Also, for a second set of solution, 9,4, the equation here becomes 9 squared minus 4 squared this is equals to 65 on this side the next square that's made as 91 minus 4 square 4 times 4 16 this is equals to 65 on this side 6, 81 minus 16 equals 65 which is equals to 65 here that is left hand side equals to the right hand side and also the second side of solution here satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with a thumbs up put your comment see you next class and bye for now